Located hidden deep in the forested New River Gorge lays a town nearly forgotten. Thurman, West Virginia was once the definition of a boomtown. With the completion of the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway in 1873, Captain W.D. Thurman saw opportunity in 73 acres of land for sale along the river nestled between nearby coal mines and fields. The town grew alongside the coal and timber industries that were also growing due to their location in the gorge. By the year 1910, Thurman became the center for the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway, making Thurman to a boomtown. During this time, the Chesapeake and Ohio operation at Thurman became the highest in revenue recipients, producing more than locations such as Cincinnati, Richmond, and Ohio combined. The town of Thurman excelled through the Roaring Twenties. The decline of Thurman, West Virginia started in the 1930s with the devastation of the Great Depression. Businesses had to close, such as the bank and coal moved away from the New River Gorge. Two fires also destroyed major businesses in the town. As the automobile came and steam moved away, so did the residents. Thurman was located deep in the gorge and the roads made it impossible for automobiles to navigate down. Workers left due to the railway structures being useless for the new diesel locomotives and the prices of change were too high. Eventually, not only Thurman, but many other towns and coal mines along the gorge closed to be claimed by the Mother Nature. Today, Thurman remains a place of history. Though the town seemed abandoned, a few residents remain. Most residents are living to support the preservation of the town. The railway depot is now a museum to share and spread light on the town that it once was. In 2003, the National Park Service began to stabilize buildings to restore the town to its beginnings. New River Gorge visitors can still travel to the town today to view in amazement the history and hard work that went to Thurmond, West Virginia. <laughs>